Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be talking about link leveling and not only what level I think is going to be the best one, but also how many on average runs you need to do in order to get somebody to link level 10. So first and foremost that I wanted to kind of show everybody here is I wanted to show everyone when I got my Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, I immediately started link leveling them. All right, so getting all that taken care of from there, here you can actually take a look. This is in the sub page of the profile. So when you actually go into here, you can see it took me 210 runs before I was able to actually get them 100% link level 10. Now my Super Saiyan gods up there, they're not link level 10 yet, and I have 362 runs with them. And as a matter of fact, it took me 466 runs in order for them to link level. So um, with that, you know, you're you're talking about an average of about 338 runs. That's a pretty huge difference when you're when you're trying to figure out with that what you're doing. But um, in addition, we're we're also trying to figure out. Okay, well. We have to figure out what's going to be the best. So I'm going to actually take a look at my sub page. And another unit that I'm currently trying to get is the Future Gohan and Trunks. So we'll take here. They're at 478, and I have not link leveled them. Now I've done some other things with them, so it makes it a little bit more complicated to figure that out. So we'll take a look here at Jerome, 321. They're link level 10. Uh, then we can actually take a look at... Uh, 17 and uh, let's see here, 17 and 18. They're at 308, and they are link level 10. So that is where you know I'm, I'm figuring right around that 300 to 325 is how many runs you need to do in order to get someone to link level 10. So what does that actually equal out to be when you're trying to figure out which run is going to be the best? So it. Um, taking a look here, at, let's just say it's 320. We know that on 710 is what I personally like running. And the reason why I like 710 is because 710 has at least six guaranteed fights. It could be seven if you're semi paying attention to it, or it could be like 910 if you are manually doing it. So I personally like that. So at 14 stamina, and you have to run it on average 320 runs, you're talking 4,480 stamina now my stamina bar if you take a look at the top is 280 so if we take a look at that you're saying roughly 16 dragon stones in order for me to fully recharge and be able to go through there now i use meat a lot or you're going to have levels that are going to increase maybe you're not at level you know i'm ranked 764 working hard at trying to keep getting up uh, higher right now with the four times xp but with four times xp and you're someone that is pretty much below level 500 there's a lot of times you're going to still link level and or excuse, you're going to complete runs and you're going to max out your rank, which means you're going to get more free stamina that way. So it's a good time now to be doing that. So I just want to kind of break something down and kind of really show everybody what you're looking at. Now, the other runs, 8-9 is one that a lot of people talk about. That's the one you fight Ginyu. Um, when you're fighting the Ginyu Force here, it is still 14 stamina. You're only guaranteed 5, but then there's the other levels that get, you could potentially run into something. But you're guaranteed 5 runs no matter what. So still one less. Now it is a little bit faster to get through, and that's when you start splitting the hairs and trying to figure out, okay, well, what can you actually do? But I like to do my link leveling when I'm not forcibly going through and trying to get something. Um, with this one right here with the Lost Warriors, which is 15-2, you're going through and you're getting, again, five guaranteed battles, and that is going to be for 16 stamina. Um, so I think the stamina loss is, is probably just enough to say, nah, let's go ahead and jump back down to 17-10. So that 310, or excuse me, I guess the, the, the main difference is whether or not I hit the 210 or the 466 worth of how many runs I had to do. How many times was I doing it manually? How many times was I doing it um, just letting the uh, the auto mode work? That's really some of the stuff that you kind of have to take a look at and really kind of determine where you're at. But hopefully this has helped out, kind of break down, okay, what link levels am I doing? Um, and, and, and not only that, the important thing of 
how many stones do you need or how many runs do you need to do in order to completely link level 10 a unit so hopefully that's helped out but otherwise that's gonna be it that's me today's video if you haven't done so already please make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that i'm uploading a new video but otherwise that's gonna be it that's gonna be today's video thank you guys very much for watching we'll talk to you guys later